So the so what actually happened was on I mean on chapter five hundred and thirty five, Lucy had rewritten the book of E and D, which she did. However, she, however there the veins from her right arm suddenly appeared. But here's but then she actually she actually say she felt hot because it's like the flames of the fire demon is burning inside of her like like the eternal fires from hell itself until gray cool cool her down with his ice and they say will they will save natsu meanwhile back at the guild hall natsu has have been healed because of his wounds has been disappeared which said with that said and done Natsu has, well, he getting ready to battle Seraph, saying that he going to use everything of his magic as possible, which his body will, I mean, he will fight to the end. Meanwhile, back at, back at the Agnologia battle, Jalal is using his, using his meteor to ram Agnologia, which turns out that he is also getting ready to battle him. However, Agnologia has sunk the flying Pegasus to the, I mean, Crystallia to the ocean, which means that he also grabbed a hold of Jarrah, I mean, Jalal. Meanwhile, back at the Guild Hall, the, I mean, Natsu has unleashed the full flames of the power of his loved ones. And then Seraph about to do the same. However, Natsu about to use his Fire King, Fire Dragon King, Warring Punch, and Seraph will use his Black Flames of Darkness, and they're all gonna come to collusion, which will lead to Chapter 536. And so it all come down to this. This is it. Only ten chapters away until the final chapters of the fairy tale this is all going to end here at the final chapter but this is going to be it only 10 more chapters to go as soon as Sir, as soon as Nasu and Seraph Power collide it is shook the fairy core of I mean it shook the fairy building of fairy tale which I mean the Gil, which Seraph is about to be overpowered by Natsu. Meanwhile, Seraph I mean Analogia is still holding on to Jalal, who is still agonizing in pain. Meanwhile, Crystallia is actually lifting up by Anna, who's who is being assisted by Ichia. As they make the ultimate sacrifice, they are about to fly over to Agnologia as he let go of Jalal, as they push him to the time lapse, sealing Agnologia there. But at the cost of Anna and Ichia being sealed inside of them, being sealed with him as well. As Blue Pegasus is moan of Ichia sacrifice, they're all being saddened at their. Anna say he is really is a handsome man. Meanwhile, back at the guild, S Mavis actually began to woke up after Seraph is been defeated, but he say he'll recover soon. So not to say he'll leave the rest to Mavis. What's gonna happen? I don't know. But this is gonna be the fi but the final chapter is gonna happen. To gonna happen. We'll, we'll see what's gonna happen. Who's gonna live and who's gonna die. So anyway, like this video, subscribe for more, and comment what you think about this chapter, I mean these chapters, and what you guys gonna gonna react to the final chapters of Fairy Tale. <laughs> Excuse me. You guys can also follow me on Twitter. Instagram, Tumblr, and like my Facebook page. Until then, this is Anime Guy here. Say signing out. Later's.